Hello Magic players, welcome you to episode number 105 of the Brewers Tavern. Charles, how are you doing? Good, excited about uh, the deck I have today. I'm going to be using a playset of a creature that I don't think has appeared um, as a one of, and I have four of them in the deck, so it should be pretty cool. Um, this is a uh, deck that I modified from Micah, uh, uh, better known as Raging River, so I'm quite excited about that. What do you have for the Brewers today? Uh, first of all, I need to say I'm really afraid of your deck for today's Brewers Tavern because um, I play uh, all the five Elder Dragon Legends and try to make those work. <laughs> and I, I'm i in charge to upload the deck pictures to OBS before we start, so I know what you're playing. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> 100%. So the goal is win one round. This is the goal well, for today. Um, let's see what happens. Uh... No, no saying that uh, my deck works, but uh, it looks really fun. Um, so why don't we take a look at this Elder Dragon uh, list? That sounds really awesome, and then we'll take a look at mine. Exactly. So here's my list, and the viewers will know why I why I am afraid um, when they see uh, when they see your list. Um, yeah. So the deck plan here is I play all the ramp I can get, like all the the good ramp, and uh, Birds of Paradise, Felvar Stone, uh, all the Mox Power. A super tight mana base, Concordant Crossroads to make all my five Elder Dragon Legends uh, Ball Lightnings, uh, Fastbound, Twister, whatsoever, just to play turn one Fastbound, Wheel in, uh, Wheel or Twister, play more lands and ramp out either a Mirror Universe or a, um, or one of the Elder Dragons. Um, I will quick introduce all the five elder dragon uh, all the four elder dragon legends the fifth one is Nikel Bolas and i think we all know what he does but the other ones are not played at all we start with chromium chromium is two colorless two black two blue two white 7/7 seven, seven, flying rampage 2 and you need to paint your upkeep uh black blue and white um the next one is Palladia Morse, is two colorless, uh, two white, two green, two red, seven, seven flying trample. Um, and you also need to pay the color combination in your upkeep. So white, green, and red. Um, the next one is, give me a second, sorting it out. Akardis Saboth, two colorless, two white, two green, two blue, um, flying seven, seven for one white until end of turn. You, uh, your untapped creature, uh, it gets plus one plus zero until end of turn, and all your untapped creatures gain plus zero plus two. Attacking, uh, attacking creatures do not get this bonus, and you uh, need to pay white, green, and blue in your upkeep. Last but not least, Vivictus Amadi, I hope I pronounced that right. Um, two colorless, double black, double red, double green, seven, seven flying. For one black, you can. Uh, you can give him plus one plus zero same for red same for green until end of turn and in the upkeep you need to pay black red and green so uh, these are the new cards for that uh, episode I uh, once again try to make um, avoid faith in my sideboard work um, yeah but the rest of the deck is a pretty solid uh, old school deck with a lot of removal I didn't know if it is better to either run uh, Disenchant or Swords to Plosures in the main board. I went with Swords to Plosures, but after I saw your list, I thought, oh, I want that Disenchant. Why well, want that Disenchant? But um, I have it in the sideboard, so I need to win the games out of the sideboard, I would say. And uh, yeah, this is my list so far. I would say, Charles, we move on to yours. Okay, yeah, and obviously, like, that's a really really cool list uh i've never seen a deck with all five and uh yeah that that would you would be the uh the coolest kid when if we were playing in 1994 for sure because everybody was chasing these elder dragons and legends um yeah let's take a look at my list and here we are tell me a little bit about your list okay so this was a modification of a list that i saw um that micah raging river played which i thought was really neat because this uh, list plays a playset of a creature you'd win a freak from the Arabian Nights. And the card is not bad. Um, it's three red mana and it has a three six body um, and it has one downside besides it can be bottled. 
And if you choose to block with Udrin a free, then you flip a coin. And if you lose the coin flip, then Udrin can't block. Um, but I don't think that that's. This is supposed to be an aggressive deck. I'm hopefully not going to be blocking with Udrin. I'm going to be attacking in three six. Kind of like Jade Statue is not bad. Um, so like unlike Jade that cost uh, what is Jade four to cast, and then you need two mana to be able to swing with a three six or three mana you can get a three six out, which which isn't bad. Plus. It does have a playset of uh, ball lightnings. So three red mana is really important for this deck. Um, and then we have Suchi's, uh, a single Sarah, um, a pet card of mine, the um, the Mountain Yeti, has Mountain Walk, and this deck does play Blood Moon. So even if your opponent has basics uh, in game one, likely there's going to be a strip mine or factories or some non-basic lands to be mountains. Um, but it's has Mountain Walk and is pro white, which is a really cool creature for that ability. If your opponent is relying on swords, this could be a really annoying creature. Um, and yes, it can be bolted, but there's bolt targets in this uh, list with the ball lightning. So you, your opponent might not have enough. Um, then we have uh, burn um, and restricted cards in the list. A fork, which uh, could be super important. Um, if your opponent counters something, you can counter back. Or cast an ancestral or an instant that you need, you can you can use it's a really versatile card. Um, one of the cards that this is only the second deck that's appeared on Brewer's Tavern, which I'm really excited and it makes sense to this list, is you'll see the Shaharazad. Um, and the Shaharazad is pretty neat. Um, it could be a, a burn for two white mana, like a 10 burn for two white mana, depending when you draw it. Um, basically what Raging River explained to me, because I don't really use this card very much. Um, is that it's it's a nice surprise in a burn deck, um, and you want to cast it as early in the game as possible. So, like, if you don't get in the first three or four turns, you're probably just not going to cast it. Um, you know, uh, uh, but if you have, like, a hand like, you know, a Shahrazad Library, two planes, three random non-creature cards, um, in that case, Shahrazad could be, like, ten uh, damage burn spell for two white mana. So it could be a really powerful card to have in the deck that your opponent won't be planning for. And just to remind everyone, Shahrazad, this is Richard Garfield's favorite magic card, he always said, from the Arabian Nights set. And when you play this, you play a sub game. So you put your hand, you and your opponent put your hands to the side, um, and the whole board state, the permanence, your graveyard, everything to the side, and you take whatever is left over of your library, and you shuffle that, and you cut the deck like you normally would, and you play a sub game, and if you don't win the sub game, you lose half your life. So if that sub game is a draw, you both, you and your opponent, lose half your life. So for two white mana, if you could win that sub game early on, you're starting your opponent at ten life. Um, and for a burn deck, that's you know yeah. a pretty great position to be in. Obviously, um, the one other card that I don't think has appeared, uh, but I'm not positive, is in the sideboard, which is an Again, from the Arabian Nights set, is Eye for an Eye. Tell me, have you played this one, Misha? Nope, but I bought four recently, so... <laughs> it's good. It is... And the... With it's the, coming. It's coming. Yeah, So and with, with the Brewer's Tavern, you can play so many cool cards, so shopping never ends. But sorry, I don't want to interrupt you. Oh, I just want to make sure everybody knows. Um, so Eye for an Eye is two white mana, and it's an instant. Um, and what it does is... it. So you can cast it whenever a creature or a spell has damaged you, and Eye for an Eye does an equal amount of damage to the controller of that creature or spell. So um, it could be pretty good. So if your opponent tries to fireball you for five or six, or you have a Jazam attacking you, sure, you're going to take that damage too, but for two white mana as an instant, you can deal that amount as burn to your opponent. So again, if your opponent's going for big fatty creatures or a big fireball, this would be an unexpected card that will, again, really help you try to get your opponent to zero life. So a really cool card. It's a one-up in the sideboard. It's not going to be expected. Um, but that's the list. Um, I mean, it's a little bit of long deck tech. I really think it's super sweet. I'm quite excited uh, to play it. It's just red-black, and we do splash blue power to try to give ourselves the best chance to make this work. Um, and I said, let's go to the Brewer's Tavern and see what happens. You have a cool deck as well. So we move on, but the German in me needs to say it was uh, red white, right? Not red black. Oh, red white. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I meant to say and red white. Here we are. Hey, hey. 
Uh, so you're even as always. Yeah. I, I can tell you directly, if you start with Blood Moon and I have not a Chaos Orb in hand, we can skip the game and play again. I and you start. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, this my deck does not play all the Moxen, so it's not as fast. Oh, um, that's and the great. reason is you, I, I didn't see that. I'm sorry. You you can't. You have to get to three red mana, and you also have to play planes because this deck is relying somewhat on Blood Moon because it's not playing Tutor and Mind Twist and Regrowth. So instead of all those restricted cards, Blood Moon has to kind of be instead. But you need yep. to get to three red mana because you have eight creatures that are three that are red, red, red to cast. So. True. It's like one of those that you play the on color mox in like one fell war. Um, I'll uh, one for you. Which Pile number for me? For you. All right, and I will start. Yeah, yeah. I mean, any any game I lose to an elder dragon, I will be happy about that. All right, let's see what we have here. Um, okay, I guess we're gonna just keep it. Me too. All right, Volcanic Island, and your turn. Your turn. Play a plateau? Yep. And... Disenchant Lotus, and your turn. Yep. I play a City of Breast, take one damage, play a bird, and pass the turn. Okay. Your turn. Play Library, I have five cards, your turn. Play Tropical, play another bird, and pass the turn. Play Plains? Yep. Suchi? Yep. Four cards, your turn. I try to brain guys here for damage. So 18 and I draw four. One, two, three, four. And it's your turn. Okay. Two, four, six, seven cards in hand. Okay. So, one card in hand, swing, you're at 14, and your turn. So, one card in hand, you said. Yep. I tried to cast Mirror Universe and pass the turn. I played a Ooh. Tropical. Um... Okay. Full lightning. Sure. I meant fourteen. The how big is the is the uh I mean I go to thirteen. I swore to ball lightning. Oh no, you had the sword. Oh, that's bad. That's very, very bad for me. I go to two. Yeah. Upkeep, switcheroo. Um, wait, wait, I'm not on the upkeep yet. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm at two. If you have the bolt, I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. You don't have red. Right, but I could have disenchant, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah. All right, I'll disenchant it. Ah, nah. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. So we're in the upkeep. Ha ha ha. I go to 22, right? No, 26. 26. Even better. Wait, 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 wait. I What a combo here. Uh, wait one second. This is 24, 26. I untap, 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 untap. Uh, switched life totals. Draw for the turn. I play a Caracas. And I try to cast... Uh, wait. 2, 4, 6, 8. Yeah, I try to cast the card as above. Take one damage, and your turn. All right, well, I think I'm in trouble, 
And, uh, yep, nothing I can do about that. Sorry, I dropped the card. I was so excited. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Oh, that was a good game. I'm sorry, but <laughs> yeah. oh, so excited. <laughs> that Elder Dragon and your disenchant and the Lotus was huge. You don't know how huge it was because I had in hand in my opening hand a um, a uh, brain geyser and two lands and a Lotus and I and two birds of paradise and I thought, okay, let's start with Lotus and land. If That's has, why this deck. That's why this deck has to play Blood Moon, because I don't have Brain Geyser and Mind Twist and Tutor, so, you know, you need some somebody to counter out the, the fact you don't play five colors. Yeah, 100%. Look, uh, I'm a huge fan of Blood Moon because this is like the equalizer, you know? It, it, it equalizes it, because, like, you Brain Geyser for four cards there. My play in another game is I'll be able to Blood Moon and slow you down. Um, in yeah. another game, you'll Brain Geyser for four, and that will just get you over the top. Good game. That was that was very close. True, and that was intense. At uh, number one well, for you. Well, I, I had to. Yeah, pile one for you too. I had to go for, and hope you didn't have the swords yeah. or the lightning bolt. I mean, there's like because if you didn't, I have the game right there. I have more than enough damage. True. I feel good with that hand. It, we will try it. Okay. Uh, Vulcan Soaring, your turn. Draw. Tropical Bird, your turn. Two, four, six cards in hand. Triple Ant. Yeah. That's Blood Moon. Yeah. Your turn. Play Tundra, I mean Mountain. Play Time Walk. Yep. Mm, play Mountain, I mean Library. Play Soul Ring. Play Felvar Stone and pass the turn. Bolt the bird. Do you, I'll, I'll bolt the bird. Nah. Nah. Okay. Um. And uh. Here, here. Play tundra. Pass the turn. Hey, sushi. And I have two cards. Pass. I badly need the sideboard here. <laughs> Pass the turn. I uh, will play land. Yep. Yeah. Take four. Sixteen. And your turn. Two cards. Badlands. Pass the turn. Okay. You do Mm-hmm. Turn for four. Your turn. Your turn. You do And another one. Turn for seven. Yeah, go to five. Better be good. Your turn. Nope. Nothing I could do here. Play one more game one, then we'll do the sideboard, or you yeah, want to do the sideboard yeah, right now? I would say so, yes. Sideboard or game one? No, let's play game one. Yeah, I was going to say, these are quick. And then we'll see what the sideboards do. Yeah, 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 100%. I mean, we the sideboard games will take way more, uh, way longer than the, the other ones. Which was the Elder Dragon you beat me with? What was that one? What did that one do? Uh, Karthus Saboth is 7-7 seven, seven for one white. You can pump him. And uh, all untapped creatures get plus 0, plus 
Okay. One, two, three. Uh, number one. Number two. Seven. Can't keep that. Um. I don't think I can keep this either. Nope, I'm gonna take them all. Oh, I should have showed it. Uh, I had a Lotus in the Plains, so I could have put out a Udwin, but starting with zero mountains is, does not work with this deck. One, two, three. Yeah, you can't keep a hand with zero mountains. You have how many three red drops? You have eight? Eight. Yeah. <laughs> That's like impossible. Uh, uh, pile three. Uh, pile so, number two for you. So getting out of Udwin for turn one is not good enough where you start with zero red sources. I drew, sorry, I drew one too many. Oof. Yeah, I tried. Yeah. That one on the bottom. Six. Cards. Yeah, I think I'm... I think I'm gonna have to try to. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 rough. I don't think this deck can go to five. Oh. City in your turn. Ooh, city. Fast bond in your turn. Nineteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Yeah. Your turn. I try to wheel. Okay, I don't hate that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven, yeah, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I play a land for the turn. Play a mox. I try to cast Ancestral. One, okay, two, go ahead and that So, I mean, one, two, three, four damage. So, sixteen Lotus, fifteen Demonic, and Mind Twist you for five and go to fourteen. Okay, I guess we can see. The next couple of cards are. I think that's game. I mean, I have zero, zero card, uh, one card in hand, and that is not a good one. Uh, keep. Yeah, but, but 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 I, I can't cast anything, so I need to like draw perfectly or like uh, draw seven. Uh, keep the left and the right one. And it's. Okay. And the chance is pretty high that you drop a land and ball lightning me. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> Cast the four more stone. And I strip your city of uh yeah, city of press. Your turn. Okay, it's your turn. Okay, draw. Play a box, pass the turn. It's your turn. Land, go. Yeah, go to eight. Uh, eight or nine? Oh, you must set the city. Yeah. Okay, your turn. Land, go. I uh, ball lightning. All right, you got it. And uh, your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me one sec. Okay. Sorry. 
Somebody's uh, pulling their wall outside. Shut the window. I need to see how I take that in the smartest way possible. Uh, red, red. Uh, wait a second. Red, red. Black, black. Blue. blue and uh, pass the turn. Oh, sorry, um, to tap two more. Yeah. Well, I can make it, sir. Uh, I bounce Michael Wallace. Okay, I kind of forgot about that. That's good. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take out your Caracas. No! Yeah. Um, uh, your turn. I untap, I draw. I play a Concordant Crossroads. I play Nike Wallace again. I'll respond to the Wallace. Yeah. Disenchant the Crossroads. Okay, then it's your turn. How many cards do you have? Uh, one. Um, Nico Bolas. It's uh flying seven seven. I need to pay blue, red, black in my upkeep. And what marks did you have? Uh, one r blue, red, black. And I have yep. two Felvar stones, uh, Badlands. Yeah, yeah. So I, I yeah, I, yeah. I just wanted to know if uh if uh Bloodmoon helped me, and the answer is no. Exactly. <laughs> the answer is exactly. Um, we'll play it anyway. Okay. And uh, your turn. Uh, yeah, I pay with Bolas. Draw a card. Oh wait, wait. That I'm gonna play uh, Pearl because it, you're, I'm gonna lose my hand. I play Chaos Orb. I take out your Blood Moon. And I swing for seven. Yep, you get a four, and I'm at. Uh, 12. 12. And I go to 7 and play mode and pass the turn. Uh, yeah, it's your turn. At my, this will be a mind twist game. You cannot catch up with that. Unless I draw a draw 7, which I didn't see. Uh, yeah, I paid for Bolas in the upkeep with the Moxon. I attack you. What? Play a Felbar Stone and pass the turn. Just got me. Oh, dead Elder Dragons. What, too strong. Too strong for old school magic. Uh, I mean, when, when you clear out my hand, you're in good shape to do anything you want. True. But maybe that's the reason why no one plays them, because they're just too good. All right, let's sideboard. <laughs> no comment on that. <laughs> I mean, I, I just see it as a mind twist game. I don't see there's anything different. Um, how many of your elder dragons have red in them? The casting cost. Uh, give me a second. A few. I think three. One. Two. Three. Three. Yes, three. How many have blue? One. And three. Three as well.
behind you um it's um it's a next door neighbor mowing his lawn outside oh god okay i think it's with these 10 for these times okay i'll be on the play yes Let's see. Now that I asked for it, he's gone. <laughs> yep, he's gone. Uh, pile two for you. Uh, pile number one for you. Okay. I try. Okay, uh, I guess we're gonna try. Okay. So if you want, you can start. Your turn. Huh. Go. Some chance over again, your turn. Okay. I strip your city of breasts and pass the turn. Um, how many cards do you have? Six. And uh, I will say your turn. Pass the turn. Your turn. Interesting. Uh, crack Lotus for white and cast mode and pass the turn. Disenchant that. Nah, come on. I re I cracked my Lotus for it. <laughs> I needed it. How many, how many cards do you have left? Four. Um. We'll say pass turn. Untap, draw, play City of Brass, tap, drop, and Tundra, and play Felvar Stone, and pass the turn three cards in hand. Lotus is good. Sushi is fair. Your turn. End of turn, Sword to Sushi, go to 19. Okay, 23. Draw. Mm. Chaos Orb and pass the turn. How many cards do you have? Two. How many cards do you have? I have six. Six? 
Good lord. This is a lot. Your turn. Mm -hmm. Six cards. Your turn. Oh shit, I should have destroyed your volcanic. Hmm. Anyways. You still do it now if you like. Uh, um, your turn. <laughs> nah, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Uh I try to cast regrowth. Okay. Sorry, not easy. I'm, I take strip mine, I strip one of your lands, take out the other one, and pass the turn. Yeah, it's your turn. Your turn. Yay, library, four cards in hand. Uh, pass the turn. Your turn. Oh, my Felva stone is useless. Uh, five cards in hand, pass the turn. Your turn. Six cards in hand, your turn. Your turn. Draw seven cards, eight cards, your turn. I untap, upkeep, I draw one with library, draw one for the turn, play birds, mm, two, four, six, eight, eight cards in hand, bird is active, I, I'm going to discard Sorry, one second. I'm not going to discard. I play a time walk. Two, four, six, seven cards in hand. Upkeep. Yep. Draw, draw for the turn. Play another city of brass. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Eight cards in hand. I try to bring Geyser. Yep. 4-3. Uh, land... Uh, Mox Tundra. 2, 4, 6, 8 cards. And I disenchant your Mox. And I pass the turn. Your turn. Upkeep. Uh... Draw a card with library, draw one for the turn, play a tropical. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arcade Sabot. And pass the turn. What's what's the casting cost? Uh white. Green, blue. Oh, 
Grab it. Blew it. Okay. Your turn. Uh, I have in hand two, four, six cards. I draw one for the turn. I draw one with library. Play Mox Ruby. Swing for seven. Sixteen. Uh, your turn. Oh, only the, all untapped creatures get plus two plus zero without paying white. I'm sorry, I lied. So it is. I can pump his back, but all untapped creatures get on the spot plus two plus zero. So those are zero threes. I don't know if that counts something, but your turn. Untap. 2, 4, 6, 7, upkeep, draw one with library, draw one for the turn, play a land, swing for 7. 9. Your turn. Felvar Sapphire, balance. Excursion. Good lord, I tap a bird and try to draw three in response. One, two, three. Six cards, you said. Uh, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Give me a second. Those are dead, anyways. Two, four, six, eight. Eight. Eight, 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 eight. And one more. And you have zero lands, right? Yeah, and you got rid of all of them. Shit. Disaster. This was easy, but I need to discard one more. I mean, but you got two. You did fourteen damage. Two, four, um, six, six cards in hand. Uh, um, get rid of your fellow stone. Okay. And four cards. <laughs> Your turn. Blue Blast. Blast. Blue blast. Okay. That's your turn. One, two, draw. Your turn. The balance was brutal. Yeah, sushi's good. Your turn. Hey. Uh, try to cast demonic. Yeah. I think that balance was the most brutal balance in Brewer's Tavern. So far. Unless I got rid of 10, 10 lands and three creatures. That's and you had to get rid of cards. I don't think there was anything more brutal or a balance than that. Wait a second. I played a land so far, right? You play the city, right? Yeah. And it's your turn. Cool. Yeah, take ten. You're at seven. 
My turn? And, uh, yep, your turn. Your turn. Play a plateau. Yep. And um, your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Hey, city. Yep. Your turn. End of turn, I take a damage. Okay. I draw. Play land and pass the turn. I'll take a damage. Strip your city. Try to counter spell that. Okay. Um, how many cards do you have? Four. Four cards. Mm -hmm. Tough, tough. This is tough. Okay, your turn. End of turn. I try to disenchant your sushi. Okay. I draw. Okay. This helps. I have, sorry, I have three colorless mana. Ooh, does it help? Huh, lol. I passed the turn. Uh, you gained four life. Ah, uh, no, you got disenchanted. Sorry. My, my bad. My bad. Uh, your turn. Your turn. How many cards do you have? Four. It's in your graveyard. Creature-wise, two birds, Arcada Saboth, Palladia Moors. Yeah, this is it. Your turn. I draw. I try to cast Moat. Okay. Give me a second. White, white. Cast. <laughs> So your turn. Drop. Play Kara. 
Arcus try to cast Chromium. Okay. Give me a second. I, I need to see how that works out. White, white. Blue, blue. Black, black. Colorless, colorless. Pass the turn. Yeah, well, tap the swords on. I found the swords. Uh, no, I will respond to that. Yeah. Okay, then I gain seven life. That's fair. Right, so you're at 13? Yes. Play a land? Yep. Cast Sign Twister. Okay. And I did play a land. You're tapped out. It's like I can draw time walk. I think I have to take a chance. Yeah, yeah sure. But I mean, I needed to go for that for that uh, chromium. I also had a swords to plowshares in hand, so I swing once, remove the Ali, and kill you. Okay, so. Question is now, do you have the time walk? I do not. Otherwise, you'd be in big trouble. True. Um, um, hmm. We will get your pearl. Pearl, okay. Cast Blood Moon in your turn. Sure. Drop. Time walk. Yep. Pass. Yep. They land. Yep. So she's good. And, um, Tropical cast bird with the emerald and pass the turn. Um. Yeah, that's really scary. Bird is scary. Depends on who you ask. Okay, uh, your, uh, I'm gonna play you run in your turn. I play a tundra, which is a mountain, and pass the turn. Your turn. Draw. Mm, sweet. Try to cast Chaos Orb. Okay. Try to take out Blood Moon. All right. And uh, one, two, three, four, <coughs> five, six, seven, eight. Uh, give me a second. This is open. The bird is open. I need to see which one I can cast. I have red. Red, go to 12. Uh, red, red, white, white, 
green green colorless colorless palladia moss and pass the turn okay. but it doesn't change your mode too bad and just drew a good one Yes, time won't. Sure. Three red. And we'll go to six. Two ball lightnings. Okay. Sorry. How much damage is coming? Well, six. Well, it says six one trample. Six one trample. Three six. Four four. So I for sure block one ball lightning. Okay, and you absorb all that damage. Mm, how much is that? Nine thirteen. I swore the other ball light. Uh, no, I swore the sushi. You swore the sushi. Okay, yeah. so I gain four, go to ten. Yes. And you're gonna take nine and go to three. Yes. Okay. I have a single card. Uh, I have a time walk coming. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yep. Okay. So this is one of the best games I think we've played on Brewers. This is True. crazy. Um, and this is not going to be a card you're going to like, but... You have the other ball lightning? No, I do not. Re... Fireball? Yeah, okay. It is what it is. What a game. Oh my god, that balance was just brutal. That balance was nuts. So let's go to the sideboard. Uh, sideboard. Yeah, that, that game that was a very long game. game. took forever. Oh my god. It was, it was one of the best, I have to say. It was one of the best. Let's see. Oh, one, two... What's on the sideboard? What am I missing? I miss two disenchants. Seven, two, four. Yeah. This is it. So I start if that is okay for you? Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. So, I bought it out. Um, let's start with the obvious cards. As soon as you see red, I assume lightning bolts are super aggressive, so I took out Wheel and Twister because I don't want to refill his hand. Um, as well as Fastbound, because Fastbound is constantly dealing you damage, and constant damage is the worst. Um, Concordant Crossroads I took out because I don't... He casts his sushis way faster than I cast my Elder Dragons. And even I need three swings with the Elder Dragons. So even if I cast one Elder Dragon Legend and a Concordant Crossroads for nine mana um, and swing him once, he can backswing me for a lot more. Um, I took out one Swords because I thought I will have still three Swords and Blue Blast is removal for all his creatures, Disenchant fills up the rest so I can destroy sushis anyways and you know so I thought three swords is more than enough mm, because I have removal main board for the rest um, so I didn't bring in any avoid fate because I didn't thought that he had so uh, that he will have so many swords and I can bounce my uh, elder dragon with a Caracas um, the mace I didn't bring in because um, I thought with the mace of it I can um, only hold back his creatures if he's not having any blood moons. And to be fair, I don't want to gamble on the blood moon. Um, I've not seen a lot of blue cards and I assumed that he only had blue power in the deck. So that's why I didn't bring in the red blasts. So I stayed with four disenchants for the two fast bounds and the two concordance. And I put in the three blue blasts for those three and I get I felt pretty solid with it I mean the, the sideboard was pretty nice yeah this is it um okay well the cards I thought were bad against you um Scheherazade is a really cool card I would have loved to have played it um 
and maybe this was the match to keep it, but like I wanted to make sure this is like not necessary. And I'd rather take a chance of putting any one of these cards in than that. Um, and the same thing, I can't wait around for you to counter spell or um, I mean, you're going to put red blast, blue blast. This might not really be great. The Mountain Yeti I didn't think was great against your deck. Uh, you were playing mode. It's just a 3-3 three, three for 4 mana. I took out one of the Udwins, um, which I wanted to take out one of the creatures because of moat. Um, I didn't think I needed eight, all eight of the three red creatures. And I think the Ball Lightning, since you don't play Bolt, it's just better. Your removal is going to be Swords, and I'll just gain an extra six life, uh, extra three life, and it has Trample. So I thought the Ball Lightning was better than Udwin. Um, you don't have Weenie Creature, so Earthquakes came out, and Bolts are really useless against you. Um, it's just a card going to your face, which is just garbage if I don't need to remove uh, hippies or anything else, uh, uh, factories. Now, I thought since you're, I think three of your five, uh, five Elder Dragons have blue in them, I think three have uh, red in them, so these cards are definitely coming in. Um, the swords are the best cards on the sideboard, because I can just re remove... Uh, any of your creatures, unless you have the Karakas out, which turned out to be really, really great. Um, same thing with Spirit Link. Um, I thought that was going to be good. It turned out not to be good. I couldn't play it, because I can cast only your Elder Dragon. You could just bounce into your hand and replay it. Um, the fourth Disenchant for sure had to come in, because you have Mirror, you have Moat, um, you definitely have, I mean, of course you have Chaos Orb. Um, there was definitely going to be targets for this. Um, and I actually think the LE was great, because I didn't see that much creature removal, I guess you brought in Blue Blast, so you could have dealt with the LE with that. But that could buy me time. So I do think it's a one of it's a you might be spinning your swords on like my actual creatures um, that are dealing you damage and you might not have one for LE, so that might buy me some time. Um, I didn't bring in the Wrath of God because on the Blood Moon strategy I think was very important against you to try to shut off some of your restricted cards. And I'm not playing counters. I can't splash uh, blue blue in the deck. So I brought in the Creature uh, removal or spirit link that only costs one white. Um, the artifacts that you're playing aren't problemsome for me, so I didn't think that they were. Um, it's more of the moat that I have to deal with, and of course, mirror is nice to remove, but um, I don't think I'm going to have. Detonate's not a good counter to mirror. Like I'm not going to have seven mana to try to remove that, and you don't have many artifacts. And trike is a really versatile card, obviously, if you're playing weenie creatures. Um, to be a 4-4, four, four, but being able to remove cards is great, but you don't have that. So um, I didn't bring that in. Um, so this was my sideboard plan. Um, I think this deck is a really good... It feels really fun um, to play it. Um, so I was really happy to... I really like this build a lot. Um, and I have to say, they, it was about... The games are about 50-50. Um, so, I mean, you were, I think you won three games uh, beating me down with an Elder Dragon. So... Um, that was really cool. And one of them was Nicol Bolas, where I had to discard the card or lose my hand. I think I lost my hand twice. It was only one card, but uh, still, that's that's definitely living the dream. So, um, well-built deck, Micha. I really like it. Um, hopefully, everyone enjoyed episode 105. Um, I thought these two decks were great, and I thought that last game was one of the best ever in Brewer's Tavern. True. Um, that, was, that was really good. So, hopefully, that was entertaining. Um, and we look forward to seeing you in episode 106 soon. Thank you very much, Charles. Wish you the best and see you next time. Bye-bye.